So I'm here with Dr. Akanima Odan um, today, who, amongst many other things, is the author of the best-selling careers book titled The Graduate Code, and has just developed a new online careers enhancement program, which are both available to check out online right now. Um, would you Would you like to tell me a little bit more about these ventures? The premise of the book is, in every professional, there is a student wanting to learn. Mm. And in every student, there is a professional waiting to earn. And so the point is, if you're able to understand both realms, and so the book tries to kind of connect them appropriately, so you know that even though you're a student, there is a professional in you that is waiting to earn. But the point is, if you don't get your act together, um, appropriately, you might struggle later. That's what the book is about. I think also on the back of the book, I now kind of uh, developed the book, but so the book has been very successful into an online course called the Careers Enhancement Program Online. It's very, um, it's very comprehensive, really. About five modules, 22 units, about 70 short videos. That's how comprehensive it is. But I think at the end of the day, you're taking through a process where at the end of the course, you have absolute clarity what you're supposed to be doing when you graduate, or even for professionals who have already left university. So that's the, my little venture so far. <laughs> well, actually, you're an international, you were an international student yourself. So um, do you want to tell yeah. us about yourself and your educational history? So my first degree was in zoology, and I'm in the study of animals, yeah, which, was, which was nice. I, I don't do anything. I, I don't do anything zoological I mean, these days. But I think after I finished uh, zoology, I made a first class, even though um, it wasn't the course I really wanted to study. And then I got a scholarship to do my master's in the UK in environmental rehabilitation at the University of Wales in Aberystwyth. Um, and then as I was finishing my master's, I got another uh, opportunity to do my PhD in environmental management at Lancaster University. And between those, I've done several programs at Cambridge. I've done programs at Stanford. I've done programs with MIT. And so basically, I've got kind of a rounded uh, educational background. Awesome. Um, but what was it like for you to leave your home country to study abroad? I mean, it's been absolutely exciting actually doing that as, as a matter of fact. I think, I think, I think for me, I've, I've kind, of, kind of learned a, a lot of things to that, that, that process of coming to study in the UK. And one of those include um, the exposure it gave me, um, um, cultural integration, being in the same class with folks from, I don't know, from 15 countries which I've never done. That, that's absolutely remarkable. And that's very important as well because you cannot actually say you've got true international education until you understand the dimensions of international students, international staff, international programs, international funding, international research, international impact, international uh, partnerships, and all of that put together. So it exposes you to this environment, which I never experienced. I didn't, I, I didn't get the food. I didn't get the weather. I didn't get the, you know, the, like the, the different uh, um, um, cultural dimensions and everything was strange. But I think I kind of caught up very fast within the space of two, three months, which would which, which be a, a bit easier. And I've lived in the UK since then. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, how do you think studying in the UK um, impacted the, su the success that you've had in later life? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely incredibly. I mean, to be fair, it's... Um, and I say this without missing words. I don't think, maybe I would have, but maybe with a little more, maybe a lot more hard work, a lot more stress. But mm -hmm. I think the point is, studying in the UK gave me an opportunity that, I've, that, I, that has made me what I am right at the moment. It exposed me to dimensions of, of, of strategy, thinking about things differently, to things around how to engage with industry. I mean, creating a niche, what I do is quite strange in my job right now. People keep asking me, well, do you read that what you study? That, that's the beauty. So because when you when you exposed to kind of that kind of an exposure, it doesn't say education exposure, but it does it begins, it begins to kind of orientate your mind towards new dimensions of thinking and new ways of ap uh, approaching problems. So what advice would you give to students who are thinking of taking the same or similar paths um, that you took? So, so I, I think I think the, I think the first thing is to understand that actually. Um, Ultimately, even though UK education um, exposes you to all of that, it still boils down to the individual. There are many people who still come to the UK, and if they are lazy, they would, they, nothing will happen. So I guess the first, so the first advice is think about yourself and, and, and kind of self-introspect and understand that ultimately hard work 
it's crucial. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Nigeria, you're in Ghana, you're in Kenya. Even when you have to come to the UK, think about hard work, hard work, and hard work. Secondly, you need to understand how to take advantage of any opportunity available to you. I know many people who still come to the UK, and I know this because I've dealt with many students in the past, who still come to the UK, and with all the opportunities, they still finish their program, and they still go back just the way they came, because they haven't availed themselves of the, 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 those opportunities that, that, that for engagement, for volunteering, for work experiences, for, 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 for research, for, for infrastructure, and all of that. And so ultimately, you need to start understanding that for, if you're going to look at and study, kind of have an open eye. I remember my friends always told me, oh, it was like, I used to walk about with a torchlight, looking for any opportunities to come, come, kind of take advantage of. But why not? If you've traveled that long distance and left your country, spend that much money to come and spend. And guess, guess what, guys? And I'll be open with you. UK's weather is so fantastic. Everyone knows that. But if you have to go through all of that, you better come and get the best of your education. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Emily. Absolutely. Absolute pleasure. No problem. Take care. <laughs>